All right, so let's go ahead and dive into Eclipse and uh, we'll actually write some code, get our hands dirty for actually deleting students. So again, our copy paste approach, I'll select update student demo.java, do a right click and I'll choose copy. And then I'll do another right click here and I'll choose paste. And then for the name that we'll use here, very straightforward, right? Delete student demo and then remove the two on the end. And that's it. Delete student demo. And once you're happy, go ahead and click on the um, OK button. All right. So we should have this new file here called delete student demo.java. Let's go ahead and double click it. I expand the window. Let's zoom out a bit. OK. All right, great. So what we want to do is go through and actually delete one of the students uh, based on a given um, ID or a given value. So I'll kind of take a lot of this stuff that we had before. Everything in this new code section, basically from lines 40 down to 51, let's delete those and just get rid of it. We really only want to have one transaction being processed here. Lines 34 and 35, I'll delete those also. Um, so right now, what we should have is just uh, this section of code here that you see on the screen. So we have a student ID, uh, we begin the transaction, we get the student from the database, and then we do a commit. Uh, so that's what we should have right now. And around lines 34 and 35, we're going to add some new code. And again, following my standard approach here, I'm going to delete the student. So um, I have the student selected already, my student uh, from line 32, and I'm actually going to delete that student. So here I'll say session.delete my student. And that's going to delete the student with the ID of one, because that's what we set up a little earlier uh, for this example. And I'll also do a little system out print line here. And I'll actually print out the contents of the student before we actually delete them, just so we can track it uh, in our console. All right, so this looks pretty good. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, save this and then we'll run it as a Java application. Let's go ahead and pop up our console window here, see what's going on. So here it says deleting student and the student has the ID of one. All right, so it, we're deleting that person's Scooby wall, and he has the ID of one. So again, let's go ahead and swing into uh, the MySQL workbench and verify this. So again, I can simply go to this uh, student table. I uh, just do a right click and say select rows. And boom. Uh, student ID of one is gone. They are missing, deleted, no longer here. So our code worked as desired. So we went through and we got the student ID of one and then we did a, a um, delete on that student. So that worked out pretty good for us. All right, so let's go ahead and move back into our code and let's, uh, let's do some more stuff here. So let's actually go through the process here of deleting the student uh, that has the ID of two. And this time we're going to use the alternate approach uh, that we saw in the slides. So in this example, we're going to make use of that session create query. And then as part of the hibernate query language or the HQL, we're going to say delete from student where ID equals two. And then we'll say dot execute update, which is our little generic way of performing an execute and a semicolon. So that's basically it there. So the alternate way, so we don't have to retrieve the object first. We simply delete it um, on the fly. And this was part of that same transaction that we were already working with. So everything will work out just fine when we do the uh, transaction commit. And also, let me comment out the uh, previous student here uh, because they're no longer in the database. So lines 35 and 36, make sure you comment out those lines because we've already deleted student one. They're no longer there. All right. 
So that's the code here for doing a delete on student uh, number two. So let's save that. And let's go ahead and uh, right click and choose run as and then run it as a Java application. And again, let's just pop open our little console window here at the bottom and let's see what we have. All right. So it says uh, deleting student two. Good. And then Hibernate went through and did the uh, delete. That looks good also. So let's go ahead and swing back over to MySQL Workbench. And zoom in a bit. Uh, let's go ahead and click that gold lightning bolt there on the toolbar. It's going to refresh and then good job. Student ID number two, they're gone also. They're missing, deleted. So this is work. This works great. So you know, just like the way we set it up in our code to uh, delete a student where the ID equals to, um, the code actually worked as desired and performed the uh, delete from the database. So this is great. So this is kind of like full circle. So we've gone through the whole CRUD process. So we did the create, the read, the update, and finally the delete. So you have learned all the different aspects here on how to perform the basic CRUD operations with Hibernate. So I would say congratulations on a job well done.